So today I'm going to show you guys how I remove my no chip manicure in the most healthy way possible. This doesn't include drilling your nails or peeling it off at home like I know many of you guys do. Which is terrible for your nails but that's none of my business. I'm sorry in advance if I sound sick. It's because I am but we're just going to go with it. So what you need today is aluminum foil. These are just pre-cut but they're just regular aluminum foil. You'll need a cuticle pusher, a nail buffer, nail file, some cotton, and 100% acetone. If you can't get 100% acetone, at least somewhere above the 90%, don't use the diluted nail polish remover that we get at the drugstore. I don't even want to imagine how long it takes to remove no chip because it takes forever to just remove regular polish. So the first thing I do is remove the top layer with the nail file. The top layer is really just a top coat, it's the shiny part. So you just wanna roughly buff off the shine off of all 10 of your nails. That way the acetone can actually soak into the rest of the no chip. That top coat is really like a barrier. If you were to put acetone directly on there, it probably will come off, but it'll take mm, maybe five times longer. So you want to go ahead, roughly buff off all 10 of your nails. For me, if I know that my no chip is a little bit thicker, like I needed 4 or 5 coats to get the color that I wanted, I'll buff more than just the top layer. I'll buff it until I feel like it's thin enough, I would say, before I'm actually touching my nail bed. Because like I said, you're not touching your nail bed at this point. You're just buffing off the polish, so it's not causing much damage to your nails. That's just a little tip. Because I usually go for nudes or the lighter colors, I usually have at least three coats on my nails just to achieve the color payoff that I want. So I usually do file off more than just the top coat. Once that's done, you'll want to take your cotton ball, soak it in acetone, and go ahead and place that on your nails. Then wrap it with the aluminum foil. Something that I try to do is to avoid the cuticle line. It's not a huge deal because you're not soaking your nails for that long anyways. But if my nails are grown out as it is here, I'll try to put the cotton ball directly on the no-chip polish and not on my cuticle line just to avoid it from drying out or anything like that like I said it's no big deal because this process is pretty fast it's done in about 10 to 15 minutes so you don't have to worry much about your cuticles drying out again just another tip you don't really need to use a lot of cotton I would say you need max one to two cotton balls for all ten fingers it's really because it's the acetone doing the work. The cotton ball is just a place for the acetone to sit to make sure it's staying on your nails and not dripping all over your fingers basically. So save some cotton ball, probably just takes one or two. Once you're done doing all 10 fingers, you're gonna go ahead and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. If I'm honest, I'm very impatient, so average, I wait like five minutes. 
but with that means I have to do more scraping. So as you can see here, I'm just scraping off the no chip now with my cuticle pusher. The no chip is pretty soft, so it comes off pretty easily. If I would have left the aluminum foil on there for another five minutes, it would have been much e easier. But like I said, I'm pretty impatient. So here I am just scraping it off. Even with the aluminum foil being on there for only five minutes, it comes off pretty easily. So yeah, but if you're not impatient, strive for 10 minutes. nicely ask him to go. After you're done with the cuticle pusher, you'll notice that there may still be a light shine on your nail and that's the base coat. So I usually go back with the nail file, just buff where I need to buff. At this point you have to be a little bit more careful because the base coat is pretty thin and your nail is right underneath that. So you want to be careful with how much pressure you're putting on the nail file. I've never really had an issue with damaging my nails using the nail file or using this method so just want to make sure your nail is clean Anything that's left on the nail, you can easily see after you use the nail buffer. After that, I just clean it off with alcohol and I'm basically done. And that's how I remove it. Like I said, if there's anything left over, I don't mind going back to that one spot and removing it with the buffer or the nail file. I just never want to overdo anything. But if there's anything left, I'll always go back, if that makes sense. <laughs> So that is how I remove my no chip. On average, it takes about 20 minutes to 30 minutes maybe because I'm doing it myself. But I think it's worth it. It's really healthy. My nails are still pretty strong after I remove my no chip. I always have a no chip set on and my natural nails are pretty strong and healthy. I give credit to my removal process 
because I'm really not damaging my nails at all with this removal process. Thank you for watching the video and I will be back.